When I was younger in high school, I had an eating disorder. I like to eat and I eat a lot, but I'm, I'm battling with wanting to be a good example to my kids, wanting to be healthy. My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. Before I get started, I always like to know where somebody's coming from because there's so much nutrition information that's out here. But what we're really trying to figure out are, you know, what's your intention? Generally, I just would like to have better habits with eating. I've gone to a restaurant before and spent 300 on a meal. Like, I love food and I love a lot of it. All right, good. How about yourself? And it's more like the psychology of my eating habits. You've got something on here saying it's okay and something over here saying... Yeah. This little guy will be like, oh, hurry up. That guy fell asleep. Eat as much. Yeah. <laughs> as many Oreos as you can before that guy wakes up. Although I don't think you're eating Oreos. Just Oreo ice cream. Straight up Oreo ice cream? Mm. Straight up. Straight up. I've really been trying to give up dairy and gluten, so I just wonder why it is that I'm not, I'm not able to do things that are right for me. And if I have like a glass of wine, I'm like, oh, that looks so good, and it's it's everything under the sun. Do you find that, or when the kids totally, go to bed? Totally, yeah. So after the kids go to bed, it's, it's kind of... It's kind of like it's your time, mm -hmm. and you want to enjoy your time. And when I think of enjoying my time, it, it's indulging in foods that I like or that I try to restrain. When I was younger, in high school, I had an eating disorder. I like to eat, and I eat a lot, but I'm, I'm battling with wanting to be a good example to my kids, wanting to be healthy. So I'm, I'm still fighting with all of these yeah. things. It was interesting to hear her talk about an eating disorder, I would have never guessed, but it's great that she was so open coming into the experience, so new and so sudden. She kind of dropped in and said, here I am, and I thought that was very big of her. One of the things I want to talk about today is that there's no such thing as perfect. All we need to do is find out what's right for Natalie, what's right for Iman, what's right over here for Kaylee. When you get in tune with what's in, going on in your body, then you're able to kind of navigate that space. I love the way she approached nutrition in the sense that food is always good for you. There's a lot of stuff that tries to pass as food that's not and that's bad. So quality is gonna be so important because the type of food that we put in our body affects how our body runs. So just think of it like the type of gas that you put in your car. So if we think about it that all food is really fine for us, then we get rid of this good and bad. We just have to think now about how much am I having. So everybody put up their hand like this. The palm here is about the size if we were eating animal protein, okay? So if I was having chicken or fish or meat, that's gonna be my portion size. She also gave really useful things, like the portion of meat should be about the size of the palm of your hand. The portion of like carbs, pasta, should be the size of a fist. And so those are things where I don't have to remember numbers or conversions. It's just really simple. The last two pieces are nutrient balance and frequency, and they kind of go together. So nutrient balance means when we are thinking about an eating occasion, I want to aim for some carbohydrates, some protein, some healthy fat. If you're nutrient balancing properly, you're probably not gonna be hungry for about two, two and a half hours. That's perfect. We want you to be eating about every three hours. For each of you, what we can do is we can come up with a list of five things that you should each focus on. So we'll start with having breakfast. It could be liquid, it could be food. Number two should be that we want everybody to become a qualitarian. You do have to read labels. You do have to know what's in something. So number three is at an eating occasion, we want to look for some of that nutrient balance. So if we're having vegetables and we're having protein, we also want to look for our healthy fats and our carbohydrate. We want to try to have some of each of those. Number four, if you need something to eat, I want you to stop. I want you to stop and say, am I sure that I'm hungry? I'm not tired, I'm not bored, I'm not eating for some other reason. And the fifth one, I want you each to pick. So what's something that you want to do? I want to drink more water. Great, brilliant. <laughs> mm, maybe, maybe drink less. Drink less alcohol. Yeah. There you go, perfect. What do you think? Um, I think I'd like to pack healthy snacks when I before I travel. Great, okay, perfect. And that puts us on a path. So what we're gonna 
going to do here today is focus on what we could be eating um, or drinking. And to do so, I teamed up with one of my favorite chefs, Kelly. passion for nutritional living started many, many years ago. I was about 21 and I was diagnosed with a very advanced stage cancer. So survived obviously is a very happy ending, yeah. but it was like a really long, you know, couple That's of hard. years yeah. of getting through all that. But like, I just really took it as an opportunity. It just changed the landscape of my life. And what you put into your body really, really matters. Mm -hmm. So we started a juice line about, I don't know, maybe just actually really just about a month ago. So one of the things that we see with juices out there today is there's this whole idea of juicing, but there's also this whole idea of cleanses. People will say, oh my gosh, I have my reunion. I need to go on a cleanse, or I just had a bender this weekend, I really need to go on a cleanse, right? There are all these different reasons. And keep in mind, the body naturally detoxifies. That said, like anything else, they can get really dirty, overworked, and it may not be functioning its best. So a cleanse can be a really great way to help the body get back into its optimal running shape. What do you think? Would you be interested in doing the juice cleanse for three days? That sounds amazing. Yeah, I think it does. Sign up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're making it so easy. I know. It like shows a, up. Can't turn that like kind of nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm really excited for you guys. And who knows? Maybe I'll do the three days with you. <laughs> just saying. We just met with Ashley Koff, who's this awesome nutritionist who calls herself a qualitarian, and that really resonates with me. One good thing I really took away from this experience is really refocusing and learning how to eat healthier throughout the day. If you have a bad relationship with food in the past, start over with a positive attitude. So I'm really excited about learning that today. I'm just really excited right now because I found out I get to do a three-day cleanse. My body reacts really drastically to anything I put in it or movements I do, and so I think it'll I'll be able to feel the results pretty quickly. I'm trying to slim up anyway. I got some sexy rows coming up. I need to make sure I'm in good shape. Have you ever had a colonic before? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 